will do well. Reserve some for the foundlings. As it should always be. The foundlings are the future. This is the way. This, this is the way. way. This is the way. This is the way. What's up guys? Hi everybody. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you guys are. This is Regan and welcome back again to MRC Collection Ventures channel. So I'm here again guys for another unboxing and review. And I picked up the most awaited figure of Hot Toys. Yes, wow. Okay, because of that uh, successful live TV action series of Star Wars. And you know what it is, right? <laughs> yeah. No, well, I really like that uh, that background music. I mean, that uh, intro music of that live uh, TV action series of Star Wars. You know, kind of like you're always waiting for that music, that sounds, and once you hear that, you know, that uh, sounds like, whoa, this is it, this is it, this is it. I'm excited, I'm excited, right? So yeah, I'm gonna present to you guys. Wow, I'm gonna present to you guys. Wow, the Mandalorian. Yeah, the Mandalorian is here, guys. Finally, yes, after. Um, yeah, so I picked up this one like uh, six hours ago. So finally, uh, it's here. And of course, uh, I'm excited. I think not just only me. I think a lot of collectors are excited for this one. Excited to see this one. Excited to uh, get this one to have on their hands. You know, to touch it, to play with it. It's really cool. Guys. Of course, Hot Toys. It's like you have a life-size scale replica of his costume but in a smaller scale right so yeah for those who are new here guys if you're new here if you're first time here don't forget if you have extra time extra seconds to press that subscribe button and hit that notification bell right so without further ado let's get started So yeah, guys, uh, just a very quick, guys. Uh, yeah, very quick, right? So just a simple box, of course. The uh, common box for Star Wars figures. Um, black box at the back, warnings, and their uh, website. And the picture of uh, Mandalorian Mando. And you can see uh, the Star Wars logo. And then the colored picture or print of the Mandalorian right here. Very cool. Very nice print. And it's, again, simple, but then, you know, very attractive. Um, yeah, this is DMS 007. Yeah, let's open it. Let's open it. Yeah, wow, I'm excited. Anyway, I already unboxed this one just to check if there's any problem and you know to you know just to check up. You know, at least I can uh, bring it back right away or exchange it right away. Okay, so here is the of course the cover print. Really nice, really cool, guys. Yeah, I mean you can you can uh, make this one as uh, you know poster. You know. Cut here, cut here, and then you know, uh, use it as a poster, right? It's really cool, it's really nice. Yeah, very nice uh, picture, I would say. So, first up, I'm gonna start with this first packaging right here. So, it has extra two pairs of interchangeable hands, okay? So, right here, so first, this is the pair of uh, holding his uh, blaster rifle and blaster uh, pistol. And then the second pair is the fist, yeah, fist gesture. And then right here is the uh, detonator, yes, detonator. And then this one is the tracking fob, yeah, something like that, tracking fob. So actually, guys, there are some um, uh, accessories that uh, they didn't somehow mention on their website. There are some really cool features that also uh, you're not gonna see on their website. I mean, they didn't uh, mention or write it there somehow yeah of course right here the manual yes the manual right here and yes so this one right here is the his blaster rifle his long blaster rifle I mean, this is really nice guys really cool yeah amazing details guys amazing details um really clean paint job and uh the colors really nice too yeah the weathering effects are really nice guys so let me show you guys yes right. so 
right? So that's really cool. And of course, this one, this one is the electric effect. So yeah, it's up to you what, how you're going to um, attach that or display that, okay? And right here, his uh, blaster pistol. Very nice, very clean paint job. And then the details, highly detailed. Yeah. The weathering effects also really nice. This one is two pieces of spear. Of course, there's a protector, foam protector. It's a bit sharp, so be careful on that. This one you're going to attach on the on the base. Later, I'm gonna show you guys. Yeah, right. very nice, very clean paint job, weathering effects, really nice too. Yeah. So this one is his uh, extra, extra interchangeable armor on his shoulder, white uh, and blue color. Yeah. Off white, let's say off white. Let's call it off-white and there's an amazing weathering effects there okay really nice paint job next up is the this one right here helmet of stormtrooper yes yeah, so you can see that amazing weathering effects guys really nice paint job right there detailed like really cool and you can see the some uh, something like scarf right or some cloth right here yeah, effect also. You can actually remove this one. This is detachable, guys. Right there, okay. And then you can attach this one inside. But not fit inside, yeah. So inside, you can see right there. Yes, okay. So it's uh, you can see right here, there's a, there's a hole on the top of his uh, head. I'm gonna put, you can put this uh, spear inside. Yeah, something like this. Yeah. Next is the figure, of course. Yes. Bam! Wow. Look at that. Wow. This is really amazing, right? A very nice detailed, amazing detailed. Uh, the weathering effects. Um, the paint job is really cool. The design, right? Like highly accurate from the TV series and. Ah, the likeness is really there. I mean, like almost 100%, I would say, is very, you know, uh, because it's very accurate from that uh, live TV action series or from that character. So that's why it's, yeah, it's really amazing, right? It's beautiful. I'm going to compare him to Boba Fett or Jango Fett. I like this one more. I mean, the look, the color. But this one is like very, it looks like, like solid soldier, you know, something like that, yeah. Of course, he's a lone gunfighter, but you know the look—it's like way better for me. Yeah, even that because of that helmet too, that best car, right? That color. Let me get the base first. Yeah, the base really nice too. A, a desert theme uh, or diorama effect. Diorama effect. Yeah, diorama base of hot toys yeah. and then of course at uh, the bottom you can see right there the logo of star wars and the nameplate of the mandalorian right yeah so that's how it looks like yeah so you can see the hole here so that's where you're going to put the sphere well just the holder guys i mean uh i think hot toys should uh, at least upgrade this one upgrade meaning um a better holder maybe transparent or clear uh, holder right something like this guys something like this so at least it's not uh, it's not that obvious wait, wait, wait. at least it's not that obvious uh, that stand or that holder so it looks like really just standing on their own you know I mean the the, the figure let's go uh, let's stand him here on the base so that's how it looks like Bam! It's really nice, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna straight uh, head to the articulation, so you guys can see right away that part. So from the head, of course, you can move that 360. The joint is really smooth. Yeah, so it's not stiff. It's not loose. So it's fine. It's okay. Okay, side to side, front and back. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I thought it's loose, but then it's not. Okay, next, uh, arms right here, the arms to the side, it's not really because uh, the material here of his uh, inner suit or inner clothes, uh, this one is a bit tight. This one is not stretch, I would say. This, not, this one is not stretch. So that's why, yeah, it's the articulation on his arm is very limited. 
Next is the front, front and back. Ah, nah, not really. That's uh, fine. Just a bit side because the material of the his suit. Yes, the front. Yeah, see, that's the. Yeah, so very limited on that uh, arms part. The elbows, the elbows is fine, guys. Yeah, you can see, right? This is how it looks like. Yes, waist part right here. The waist part, twist. Let me try. Yeah, uh. gonna hold. Yeah, so around, yeah, thirty to fifty degrees, I would say. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Yeah, yeah, see? See that how it looks? You guys can see it, right? Yes, it's not bad. I mean, it's it's good for me, huh? I would say, look at that form, right? Yeah, and then you, of course, you can crunch uh, uh, crunch in that. Crunch in. I think it's fine. The arch is fine too. It's okay. Just the normal. But then I would say it's, yeah, it's really good. Okay, the legs. And then the knees, right there. Yes, so that's how it looks like. The swing, if you're going to swing it to the back, it's fine, it's okay, not really, not much, okay? But actually, it's fine, it's fine, guys, right? What do you guys think? Yeah, see, that's the, and of course, it's somehow, because of the, again, because of his suit, it's stretchable, actually, yeah, you can split like this. Ooh, wow, that's a nice split right there. Nice. You you've been working out, man, though. <laughs> yeah, something like this. Yeah, okay. Wow. Look at that. It's gonna do a head spin. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, guys. Um. Boom. Yes, that's really cool. So yeah, I already showed you guys the articulation. I'm oh, sorry, sorry. I forgot the ankle. The ankle, you can open, turn out, that legs, yes, I forgot. Yeah, turn out, you can see, turn in, right? The same on his ankle, ankle part, right? Yeah, you can turn that, yeah. Yes, right? It's fine, that's good, that's good. So, so after that articulation, guys, I'm gonna show you guys uh, um, some cool features. These are the parts that, yeah, detachable or removable or you can uh, you know insert okay so the detonator right here he has extra but this one is not uh, detachable so you can put this one right here but it's not that really uh, it's not really fit I mean it might gonna you know like uh, fall somehow this is how it looks like yes okay and then this one right here is a uh, tracking fob you can just uh, put it or insert uh, on his belt something like this guys. there you go all right you guys see that right you just insert somewhere there it's always fine okay um, yeah and then his gun, his uh, blaster pistol right here. We're gonna put this one on his uh, holster right here on the side. So this one is made of uh, leather-like or leather. So yeah, you know what I mean already. So flaking, it's... See right here, yeah, you can push all the way down. There you go. And then of course this one right here, you're gonna... Let me show you guys closely so make sure you push that all the way down and then make sure you see this part right here and then you're gonna shoot that uh, yes so I'm gonna pull that push 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 yes yes okay so now you know there you go right and then you're going to you're gonna put this helmet right here on the bigger sphere there's a hole there boom that's really cool yeah 
Damn, right? So that's a nice display. That's a nice diorama, I would say. Okay? This one right here, all his um all of his uh armor, uh like this one right here. You can of course this one you can exchange this one. I think the original one is the blue and white. Right? I mean this color right here. I think this is the original one. Okay. And then I remember uh I think um, he this is his reward, right? His best car. And then he um, somehow asked the what do you call that? The iron uh, maker to make a armor something like this. Right? So this is his first armor. The movie is really cool too, alright? This one of course this one's better because uh, it matches to his helmet. Oops. So on the other side also you can yeah, remove that that part right there even actually even the chest part guys uh, this one is velcro okay so this one is velcro guys just to let you know you can remove that and check what's uh he's been hiding there yeah okay so that's velcro guys let's uh this one right here also his um leg armor also uh velcro yes so if somehow like um uh, it's already like deformed and you can fix it and move it to the center or to the side to the left to the right so it's up to you this is really good right there you go right very nice material on this uh on his suit yeah yeah that uh that pants the detail the date the tailoring everything is uh, really good i would say you know of course there's some uh like very small like you know stitch that's coming out but it's part of like you know uh, somehow tailoring okay and then here this one is not uh yeah this one is not detachable uh, just to let you know guys okay so but you can move left and right yeah right? so it's movable and then also right here this armor right here at the back I guess I actually can. Uh, uh, that one is also. Um, so it has some Velcro also. Can detach that. Let me try. Let me try. Oops. Yes. So this is how it looks like, guys. Okay. So I'm gonna put it back. There you go. Okay. That's fine. So if, meaning that if there's some dust or like dirt there, they can clean, right? The, the this one is made out of uh, again his belt his strap on his the strap on his body um this one is uh made of uh, leather like or pleather okay the belt this one is also velcro uh, it has some velcro detachable detachable this one here also some armor here on his hips okay just to let you know um this one is leather to hold his uh rifle i'm gonna show you that later on okay what else uh, okay those are the parts uh, that detachable or movable here this is hard plastic hard plastic only this part right here is the leather like okay else oh, this one okay this one right here uh, all his bullets except this one except the part on his legs not uh, removable only this part this on his chest on his belt and then you can this is the also another special uh, p features of this gun so you can lift that gun yeah the part right here you can lift that see you can lift that and of course this is a, the bullet go bam all right so it, it's inside now yes wow okay so let's put it back this one so actually it has four bullets on his chest already put that uh first one inside okay so it has four bullets and then put this one on his hands you know holding it or uh for me i, I prefer putting it on his back i mean well just me i mean just that's just my opinion i mean to avoid that uh of course if you have small space i mean like small uh i mean like cabinet display and then of course if he's if he's going to hold this one probably around like here and then the range maybe around here so it will eat a lot of space right okay so yeah i prefer it here just laying it here so we're gonna there's a hole on this cape 
you can see that hole yes that hole and then you're gonna yeah, pull that holder right here and then shoot this one and there you go and right there and then this one right here the strap you're gonna attach it to the front like this so you're gonna attach this one right here There you go hey okay. it's really cool okay. that's a really cool feature guys also i forgot to uh also show you guys this one this one uh, i think this is the scope yeah this is detachable guys uh, right there okay so this is detachable from his right foot okay and then you can actually in the picture it says uh he's holding it yeah something like this i saw this in the picture yeah so i thought it's a a uh, cigarette so yeah there you go guys that's it um my overall review guys i uh, would say uh this one is really amazing this one is a must you know for every star wars um uh, and mandalorian fans or hardcore fans you know you guys should get this one i mean Again, there's a lot of uh, the Mandalorian figure uh, out there. I know, uh, of course, different brand, different uh, look, or uh, I mean, not not different look. I mean, the same look, but then uh, of course, different quality. Uh, but yeah, of course, it depends on your budget. But what I'm saying, this one, if you're really a, a hardcore fan of the Mandalorian, again, it's like holding a life-size replica figure, but in a smaller scale so imagine that so because how it looks like the details are very nice highly detailed the paint job is really nice really cool yeah the weathering effects guys i mean it's yeah it's amazing amazing guys it's beautiful yeah yeah the display the diorama look everything is really nice guys i would say so that's why um i think uh those collectors are really excited to you know to get this one too and then they're and once they have it on their hands i mean they're gonna be like amazed they're gonna amaze uh to this figure because it's for me like you know, see not just only like you can really play or pose it and if you're a photographer you know you love photography this one is a really nice subject because the color is really nice i mean you know it's like taking a picture of that a real um mandalorian uh character yes okay that's it guys here so yeah i think that's it i already said everything again this one also the effects and in the hands okay so yeah i think that's it guys uh wait wait um i forgot uh just a very quick uh comparison to remnant storm super because that one comes first right so that's why i need to show you guys that boom okay remnant storm trooper versus the mandalorian <laughs> no, i'm just kidding guys so yeah as you can see guys right so it's a really good addition you know great actually great addition to your collection to your star wars collection or the mandalorian so i have already two okay so hopefully those other characters uh well not maybe not not too early just that's okay i mean <laughs> yeah too much you know uh too much figures okay so yeah, I think that's it guys. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Let me know uh, uh, what you think about this figure. Um, are you also excited to get this one? Let me know what you think about my video also. Again, if you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. All right. Thank you for watching guys. Uh, keep safe. Take care everyone. Okay. Peace. See you later guys. See you later.